Hi, this is a review of the Ahead Spinal G or Spinal Glide Drum Throne. This is just my take on the throne, not getting paid, just a quick and dirty video on my personal opinions of this product. When I was researching this thing, I couldn't find much in-depth information on it anywhere. What I did find was not very comprehensive and, you know, I have a little trouble totally believing a manufacturer or a dealer. They're hardly unbiased. And unfortunately, very few music stores have these on the floor so you can decide for yourself. So first things first, drummers want to know how much it costs. The price is easy to find on this thing. The seat and the seat plate underneath the mount plate runs about 150 bucks the shipping. About 200 if you want this base too. But I needed to know more, so I called my main man, Gary Asher. He's my go-to guy for any drum-related question. Of course, he already had one. Oh yeah, I got one. And he told me it would change my life. It changed my life. So he convinced me to pull the trigger. When I got it, I called him and I told him how much I liked it and how much I appreciated his opinion, and it was really helpful. He knew I had a camera and more than a little experience with the quest for the perfect throne, and he agreed that there should be more information out there about this thing. So he suggested I do a video review. Gary is the most serious drum guy I know, so I took his suggestion to heart. So here we go. My first attempt at a video review. No script, no celebrities, no crew, no retakes, no corporate oversight or influence. Just my unvarnished opinions, and hopefully you'll find it helpful. So take it for what it's worth. Hi, I'm Steve. You have no idea who I am, and that's okay. Not your fault. All you really need to know about me is that I've been a drummer, band leader, drum collector, restorer, builder, renovator, and all-around hardcore drum junkie since I was about eight. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I've still got those mongos. I think if you do it right, this is a really physical instrument. I've always felt what you're sitting on is important. So I've been tinkering with my drum throne since I got my very first one in the early 70s. Here's a stool sample. Oh, no, that didn't sound right. Here's a sample of various drum thrones I've had over the years. This is one of my first experiments. This stool started off as a top-of-the-line Humes and Bergs throne in the 70s. And although it was way better than the old flimsy Japanese stool that came with my first set, this one came with the standard thin round Naugahyde top. I immediately took it apart and made these lug cutouts and added thicker, higher density foam. And because for me, vinyl tops just reflect the heat and humidity I produce right back at me, I added this sheepskin cover. Then I started using these vintage sonar tractor seat stools, mainly because I thought they looked cool with my vintage sonar kits. But even with the added sheepskin padding over the original rubber seat, this raised area up front here just puts pressure on things that don't need pressure on them. Same with my re-engineered Rogers canister throne. Looks cool, but not all that comfy. When I first heard about this Ahead throne and its slotted bicycle seat design, I definitely wanted to know more. The pictures I saw online reminded me of the seat that came on my road bike. When it comes to what you're sitting on, turns out biking and drumming have some similarities. When I first saw this seat, I didn't think it would be nearly wide or thick enough for me on a long bike ride. But there really is something about this little gap here that takes the pressure off your junk and makes it way more comfortable than it looks. Same idea here. This simple gap gives your tailbone and other sensitive bits a noticeable break. And over time, you can really feel the difference. The top here is made of what looks like some sort of high quality microfiber material. It breathes really well and it's comfortable. It comes in black like this or red. It's plenty thick, about three inches thick, and a little softer than many thrones. Not too soft in my opinion, but definitely not firm and slopes up here in the back. The sides are vinyl and comes in a plain black like this or kind of a retro black sparkle. I like this shape because just a few inches upper back makes a big difference in the feel and function. I can scoot up front here when I'm really digging in and want my legs free and almost hanging, 
and at other times I can scoot back for maximum comfort during those ballads at the end of the night. It has a thick base here covered with some sort of uh, black plastic that looks pretty good. The mount plate here on the bottom is super wide. It's about eight inches wide and about eight and a half inches deep. It has these pre-drilled holes for the backrest and this beefy bracket that's uh, kind of a common seven eighths, almost an inch. It fits a lot of bases that are out there. It also has this locking screw that puts equal pressure around the pole instead of just a single wing screw digging into the pole. This uh, collar really does a good job. You can tighten it down if you don't want the top to rotate or keep it loose. I ordered the base with this one. It's only about an extra 50 bucks. And I think it's a pretty nice piece of hardware for the money. It's uh, just short of eight pounds, so it's not flimsy, but not overkill. It's uh, double braced, riveted, and looks and feels like it'll outlast most of us. I wasn't sure about this four leg design. Every other stool I've had are three leggers, and for a reason, tripods can't wobble. But I've used this on a bunch of gigs, and so far, no problem. It has a wide, solid stance, about 22 inches across, and these really nice, thick, wide rubber feet make it extremely stable. I really like the height adjustment pole. It's done with this heavy, solid steel jack screw. Once you find your sweet spot, you can really lock it down with this collar. Again, this collar puts symmetrical pressure all around the threaded pole, not just digging into the pole with a wing screw and over time could do some damage to the pole. Once you get this dialed in and locked down, it ain't going nowhere. And just for overkill, they have this second screw that once you crank this down, your height is not changing. So that's about it. Bottom line is I really like it. Build quality and fit and finish is all very good. It seems to be well thought out and durable. But most importantly, it really is extremely comfortable. It genuinely does make a difference on those marathon gigs or long practice sessions. All things considered, a pretty reasonable price for a real upgrade to a piece of gear you use pretty much every second you're playing. Hopefully I've answered a lot of your questions and helped you decide whether to get one of these things or not. If you do decide to buy one of these Ahead Thrones and you've found this review to be helpful, be sure to type in the promo code, I told you at the top, I ain't getting paid for this, backslash so dot dot dot, and receive absolutely nothing. The only reason I'm doing this is for my drummer brethren, and for the love of the art, and for the cheering. It's all about the cheering.